Hello everybody, here we are out in the Arizona desert. We're on the Apache Trail tour. Now this is a little side of the tour that took us off the main trail to show us some of the different forms of cacti. There are many, many different types, but this one here is the most dangerous of them all. It's called the jumping choya. Now it doesn't jump out at you, but to show you why they call it jumping, it's very delicate. You can just drop it like that. Oh uh, yeah, don't get your hand too close to that. There yeah, you go. see it comes off, there you go. <laughs> Pretty simple. Now, what I should mention is this. The reason this side is so dangerous is it has this microscopic reverse barb, which means that if it sticks to you, it actually will grow a taproot and actually if there's moisture in there, it will actually grow in you. So you better get it out fast. You have to rip it out, it's very sore. In fact, many animals have actually died because when it got stuck in their skin, it grew on them and that was it. It doesn't actually poison you, but it grows on you, and unless you get it out fast enough, bye-bye. Now, what happened in the old days was that the Apache Indians, the women and children, would actually pick these guys off, they put them in bowls, and whenever the cavalry were coming by, they would throw them at them, and they would land on their hands, so their natural reaction would be like this. Uh-oh! Ooh! Stuck to your hands and to here! Ooh-ooh! So if you're on this horse that's going 20 miles an hour, or whatever it is, ooh-ooh, you're gonna get bucked off. Now, only a couple years ago, there was a golfer in the area, in the Phoenix area, who golfed the ball, it went out of the golf course and landed in the desert. So he comes out of here running in the desert, he slips and falls on one of these guys right here. The entire left side of his body was covered in this stuff and he was paralyzed temporarily. The fire department came, they weren't really sure what to do, so they called in the paramedics, took him to the hospital, finally he was saved, but it was a nightmare trying to save him. Okay, so one other thing the Apaches did was they sometimes they would actually attach these guys to bow and arrows, and then if they actually were successful and hit their targets, they would have this stuck to them as well. So this is the Apache Trail tour, and this is part of it as well. And so this is it, the jumping choya, sometimes called the teddy bear choya. Don't ever touch this stuff. In fact, I actually touched it myself. I got a little prick, but I'm okay. Don't worry, it did not grow on me. So there you go.